Italy's definitely been hit hard by the coronavirus. So I had to check in with an old teammate that decided to stay in Italy during quarantine. This is 24 Hours with Josh Owens. What's up, Swiss Cultures? My name is Josh Owens. I'm a player for Palacanestro Reggiana out here in Reggio Emilia, Italy. Welcome uh, to day number... Man, uh, I've been in quarantine since like March 12th, so welcome to day number whatever that is <laughs> of quarantine. I'm going to give you guys a kind of a behind the scenes look at life for a professional basketball player during coronavirus. Um, we're going to be inside basically the entire day, so get ready for that. And uh, yeah, let's get it started. Share real quick, say what's up to my plants. Weather's finally getting what nice out here, so I had to take my plants out the other day to let them get some fresh air. What up, Stan? What up, Ford? And, uh, let's get started. Let's get some breakfast. All right, so the kitchen is actually somewhere that I spend quite a bit of time during the season. Um, I'm been maturity plant based for about three three seasons now. So uh, cooking is actually more convenient in terms of having food options for myself and I, I actually enjoy it. So um, I cook about 70 to 80% of my meals during the week, but um, right now with coronavirus, I'm cooking 100% of those. So uh, let's just do something quick. I'll probably just do a smoothie or something like that to hold me over. All right, it doesn't, uh, doesn't look great, but I promise. Should taste, usually tastes pretty good. So, alright, you know, a little bit of kiwi, some apple, some ginger, chia seeds, blueberries, a little bit of everything. Excuse all this, uh, maybe during this uh, 24 hours, day in the life, we'll do a little haircut so I'm not looking too quarantine crazy. <laughs> All right, real quick, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what's on my mind, some stuff that I'm gonna work on before I do my workout this morning. Um, show you my whiteboard. Usually don't like to show this to people, but doing some investment stuff um, the last few days. Also trying to get organized for when I get back in terms of flights and quarantining in, in an Airbnb. Um, but most of it this morning is gonna be some research and strategizing. And while we deal with the growing emergency here at home, for many, the crisis is already in full swing. The most active hotspot right now is Italy. Nearly 200 people there have died in just the last 24 hours. So my city, Reggio Emilia, is in the north of Italy, uh, relatively close to the region. That was kind of the initial outbreak epicenter for the virus here in Italy. So um, life here has been pretty different with quarantine ever since late February when we had those first deaths. Um, late February, first week of March, and you know, things quickly kind of escalated in terms of quarantine measures and contagion. So, you know, we had the season uh, games initially canceled, then we had practices canceled, and then we finally had the season officially postponed. Um, and after that, you know, a lot of guys started making decisions to say, hey, um, I'm going to go ahead and head back, head back home until we get some more efficiency on if the season's going to start again. For me, I actually decided to stay out here um, and kind of wait it out. Uh, I was kind of anticipating the situation in the States um, being poorly handled and um, just as uh, severe as it was here in Italy. I just felt I was okay and not safe here, um, waiting it out in terms of uh, not wanting to really travel, um, not wanting to deal with if the season got started and then trying to figure out how to get back and things like that. Um, and then going back and then just being in quarantine there for however long. Um, so, um, you know, I'm safe here. I have an apartment. I have grocery stores that have toilet paper, <laughs> toilet paper and food and stuff like that. Um, so that that really hasn't been an issue. Um, the biggest change here has really just been adjusting to staying inside. Right now it's 12.30ish out here. So I'm going to try to switch it up and get my body moving, doing, do a little bit of a workout um, during quarantine. Working out and exercising has been one of the more challenging parts. It's more so just like missing being in the gym and being able to do certain types of workouts. Um, obviously miss basketball a lot 
And with all the uncertainty going on with the virus and health developments around the world, it's, it's kind of strange not knowing when's the next time that you're going to pick up a basketball, be able to get into a gym, um, or really even be able to be able to hoop or, you know, play in a, play in a competitive setting again. All right, so uh, I came outside to finish the rest of my workout since it's actually a pretty nice day out. Um, and it's an opportunity to get some fresh air. Uh, with the quarantine and everything, you're not supposed to leave within a certain distance of your uh, dwelling or your house. Uh, so for me, it was kind of tough not being able to run uh, around the city and get some cardio in. But um, as I discovered in the back of my uh, complex where I live, there's actually a really large private garden with a lot of space. So I found a little jungle gym to do some extra workouts uh, that are more similar to in a gym. And there's actually some space for me to do like some shuttle sprints. And uh, when I want, I uh, can get creative and do uh, a little bit of longer distance cardio. All right, so it's like 4.15 or so in the afternoon. Um, now that I've gotten kind of the priority tasks done for the day, um, now I just really like to relax for the rest of my day, the second half of my day. I think from a mental standpoint, the afternoon in quarantine is when you really start to run out of steam and run out of momentum with uh, your energy for the day. Um, and you can really start to feel some of those creeping feelings of you know, boredom. So for me personally, I like to take all the pressure off myself. Um, I don't wanna have any pressure to feel productive or feel busy. Um, it can be a little bit tough for professional basketball players overseas because usually this afternoon times when you're having that afternoon practice, um, so obviously now being in the house, I uh, get a little bit restless um, for the rest of the day. It's all about, you know, just feeling good and relaxing. All right, so I'm going to get a head start on dinner, uh, start cooking early so I can have something that's kind of just slow cooking uh, while I'm relaxing and reading. So I'm going to make a little lentils and rice with some roasted potatoes, some homemade hummus, and uh, some pita flat bread to go with it. So. Let's eat. Ooh, I love my vices. This is enticing. Got me excited. I think I like it. I need my vices. This is enticing. I love my vices. So uh, I managed to have a relatively early dinner. Um, had a little bit of downtime to catch up with some family back in the States over FaceTime. Um, of course, had to clean, took a shower and all that's good stuff. And now it's about just a little bit after 10 o'clock and getting ready to call it a day. Um, <laughs> solid day of quarantine, got some things accomplished um, and obviously was able to relax a bunch. Um, but now uh, getting in bed, gonna do my nightly journaling, kind of just recapping the day, looking forward to tomorrow, things I might have to do. And other than that, just reading my book, uh, currently reading a book on the Great Depression and the central bankers around the world who were um, in power at the time. So good read, relax, got my water, head to sleep. I appreciate you guys joining me for the day. Um, hope it gave you a little bit of insight what it's like for myself as a professional athlete over here um, in quarantine in Italy. Um, if you want to follow along further, I'm on Instagram as J underscore C Owens, or you can check out my website, um, joshcowens.com. Do like monthly, monthly recaps and just things that I'm interested in on my blog. Um, so check me out. I appreciate you, Swish Cultures. Appreciate you guys tuning in wherever you guys are in the world. I just hope that you guys are safe, healthy, um, and staying out of harm's way with this virus. Um, all blessings. Ooh, I love my vices. This is enticing. Got me excited. I think I like it. I need my vices. This is enticing. I love my vices.